spell your name first and last? Michael Havens, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-H-A-V-E-N-S. And your title? Imperial Commissary Founder. Founder of the Imperial Commissary. Okay, awesome. So you've got a, um, what is it? <laughs> Expo coming up. Can you yep. talk this telling me about it? Um, when's it happening? And where's it going to be? Who's going to be there? Yeah, it's a convention. It's going to be going on in September of this year, 2018. We're going to be doing it down at the Williamson County AG Expo Park. If you want to check out details about it, www.icnashville. Um, very easy website. You're going to find everything there. We're going to have a whole bunch of different guest stars. We're going to have William Shatner from Star Trek. I'm sure you've heard of him. Uh, we're going to also have Mike Quinn, who's in the new Star Wars movies. He plays nine of them. I have figures of him here. Uh, also, we're going to have Cass Anvar, who's in The Expanse. We're going to have a biker scout. We're going to have a stormtrooper. We're going to have a viewing pilot. We're going to have big displays set up so the kids can sit on speeder bikes and ride them. We're going to have different uh, venues where we can have different shows and different expositions. We'll have Wonder Woman's Lasso, stuff like that. So there'll be also toys, comics, teaching sessions, anything like that. And just talk about why this is so special. I guess this is... There's not something like this on this side of the country. There really isn't. They do some major cons out there in the West Coast. Um, there is nothing like this here in Nashville. We have some smaller cons that come here, but they're usually very focused. I'm a huge science fiction lover. I'm a huge collector of vintage Star Wars toys, and I love anything vintage. So there is nothing like that for me. So I was sitting at one of these major conventions out in L.A. just about a year and a half ago. And as I'm sitting over my plate of orange chicken that cost me $37 drinking a $15 Coca-Cola, I go... I could do this better. And so I want to do it better. I want to make it for the fans. I want to make it for the families. I want it to be a family event where you can bring your kids and you don't have to worry about some weird poster of some weird thing up there. It's just about Star Wars. It's about the love of collecting. It's about being able to escape from our everyday doldrum lives, which is such a hassle and it's something we need today. And we especially need a Nashville. And I don't know why there isn't one. So I'm crazy enough to start one and here I am and that's what's going to be happening. Awesome. And talk about, like, you've been collecting for a, for a little bit on and off, but yes. more so recently. Well, ever since I was little, I used to mow lawns, and I used to buy Star Wars figures. Um, I actually have a couple of them up here that I've had since I was a little kid. Then I went to high school, I played football, went to college, played football, and uh, I learned what a keg was, and uh, you end up losing some of the Star Wars stuff over time. About six years ago, my wonderful wife bought me a Luke Stormtrooper, and uh, I put it up on this empty shelf here. And as I put it up on the empty shelf, there's nothing sadder than an empty shelf with one guy on it. So I got more and more and more, and then it snowballed, and I love collecting vintage Star Wars. So I started when I was little, and I do have some stuff from that. But now that I'm established and I have time to do it, this is my escape. This is my bar. This is my time off. So that's what I like to do with it. Okay. Um, is there anything else that I didn't ask you about the expo that you want to talk about? Yeah, um, there's going to be lots of things. There's going to be teaching panels so you can learn about where these figures came from and about the history of them and the pre-production processes. There's also going to be a lot of guest stars. There's going to be uh, some star cars uh, where you have like the opportunity to sit in some of the famous cars from movies that you've always wanted to see. You're going to be able to take great pictures. There's going to be autograph signings. There's going to be meet and greets. There's going to be free parking, and a soda is going to cost you 2 bucks for a 20 ounce because that's the way it should be, and I'm tired of it not being. Awesome. This is family friendly. Very family friendly. I'm actually a real stickler. If you look around my room, there is absolutely nothing that isn't family friendly. And the reason why is I don't do Star Wars to enjoy my everyday life or to, to hang out with my buddies and stuff. like that. It's my personal thing that reminds me of what it was to be a kid. It gives you that nostalgia. And that's what I'm trying to give back to the community with a convention like this. Because if people can come and they can remember the feeling that they had when they were little kids playing with these toys, whether it be Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe, anything at all, GoBots. I don't care if you collect strawberry shortcake, come on out. And the reason why is because we're all collectors at heart and we pick up that thing and it gives us that warm blanket feeling. And we remember what it was like to be a kid and life is tough. So if you can hold on to that nostalgia even for five minutes, it's worth more than gold. So I just want to bring that to other people because I can't find it. It's not out there. So it needs to happen, and why not do it? Awesome. And then, um, so as far as collectors go, are you one of the biggest or the biggest on this side of the country? There's tons of big collectors. I'm probably one of the bigger ones in Nashville. I do have probably more loose Boba Fetts than anybody on the planet. Um, I have a huge army of them. I collect 
many different things. I have old stuff, new stuff, pre-production prototypes, first shots, early things where uh, most people wouldn't have. But there are some major collectors also like me that are all over the world and they're actually traveling here. We have people coming from Australia, Mexico, Canada, um, Germany, England, and they're all flying in here to Nashville to bring their wonderful collections with them and try to grow those collections and also try to teach about them. Even up here, if you look on the top shelf, I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, all right. So if you look up on the top shelf, those are all very rare and from Argentina. And I actually have a guy who's the world uh, expert on Argentinian uh, Star Wars vintage action figures who's coming up to do a talk. And he's flying in from Buenos Aires. So people are coming all over the world to Nashville because this is such a wonderful thing. And I'd love to share it with the Nashville community because the collector community is already coming. I just want the moms and dads and kids to know that they have a safe place to come and play Star Wars or play G.I. Joe or play Star Trek. Awesome. And hold on. I have like a couple more questions. No worries. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, because so people can buy stuff here too, right? Tons of stuff. Yeah, yeah, there will be a whole bunch of different vendors that will be selling vintage toys, pops, uh, action figures, comic books. There'll be artists, tons of artists that make beautiful artwork. I don't know if you can see some of it in here, but they make beautiful artwork and they'll be coming and they'll be autographing that artwork and making the artwork. We also have the guy who took the pictures for the Star Wars boxes. He'll be coming from Kenner. We have the guy who picked up the line from Kenner who's going to be coming and doing a talk. So we have a lot of these historical people that people that collect really look forward to. But all these things are catered to kids and family. And the reason why is because they need a good place to go where it's not like that. And you go to some other cons and, let me think of the most tactful and nicest way to say it, but you go to some other cons and they're geared towards adult type situations and things like that. I'm a PG movie kid. And that's what I'm going to stick this con to. That's what all my 18 Facebook groups, the Imperial Commissary, are all about. They require the only set of rules is be nice to each other, no cussing, and uh, don't sell fake stuff and always make it right. So it's just about being a good person. And that's something that we learned when we were little kids. Mm -hmm. And we learned from things like Star Wars and family members. But uh, Star Wars gives you that story, and so does Star Trek, where it, it teaches you the value system. And the value system is so important. And I want to make it something nice where you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry you're gonna turn around and see a half pornographic cartoon on the wall. It's not gonna happen. Um, and the reason why is because somebody like me, who is not some giant conglomerate corporation, is running it. So if I lose a couple bucks, no big deal. If I make a couple bucks, that's great. I'll get some more guest stars for next year. Cool. And um, how much are tickets? Tickets, they start off at uh, $50 to general admission tickets. That'll get you in the door and it'll get you um, access all day. And then I also have the VIP tickets, which will get you a meet and greet with William Shatner. Um, a meet and greet with William Shatner at any other convention, if you follow Shatner, it's usually about 350 bucks. So my uh, VIP is gonna be 250 bucks. And then I'm also gonna give you hats, bags, swag, posters. I got a guy making posters. Uh, he actually does Transformers art out in China. And he is flying in just for the purpose because he's making the badges and the posters. So he's gonna autograph the posters for the VIPs which would be really cool. And also we're gonna have a meet and greet with William Shatner and I'm trying to bring in an ice cream party to work in with that. So maybe we could all have a scoop of sherbet with Shatner. <laughs> That's awesome. And then uh, also there's gonna be family four packs. Uh, two adults, two kids, 130. 